we've just had uh, Bruce in the air going around the former Yorkshire Coast College which shut down in 2017 wasn't it? Yeah, 2017. I've read somewhere a minute ago on uh, Scarborough News that they wanted to put is it 139 houses? Yeah. And uh, well, there's some lad over there with the bike. And there's the actual sign down there. It's for this for sale sign. But it is actually derelict. And it's that bad here now because we were back here in the summer, weren't we? And they put like they put loads of windows through and things like that, young kids and whatnot. We'll have a little walk around. They have tried to block it up as best as they can, whoever's done that. Um, security's supposed to be here, or so it says, but there never seems to be security. Like I said, it's completely derelict, so people say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do the other. Well, how come people can bring the dogs in here and let them walk? So, it makes no difference. It is literally derelict, and it's been derelict since uh, 2017, which is approaching, what, 2023? So, six years, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a bit boggy, but then again, like I said, it is nearly is that year, November 2023. Right, then, so we'll quickly put this on pause. Have a look. I would pick all that up, however, I don't have the material to pick stuff like that up, i.e., gloves and strong gloves. You don't know if you're going to pick up a needle or not. Are they knickers? Oh, God. I look like it. It might be a plaggy bag, but I hope it is a plaggy bag. Uh, yeah, there's tons of rubbish down there. Tons, tons and tons and tons. Um, right then, continue. Now, this is the other side to it. Rubbish there. You keep trying that thing, Dana. Thank you. Rubbish down here. Uh, business solutions. European Union investing in your future. Uh, I thought we left the European Union in 2016. Oh well, when would we actually officially leave it? To 2019, something like that. And even then, it takes years and years and years. Of all paperwork and the divorce procedures, let's see. Uh, I don't think you can see it on that camera very well, but I see the NC. All the rubbish down there. Uh, yeah. And there's the uh, part of the college where it's been smashed in from vandals and youths and it's been graffitied on and what not <coughs> now back in the summer that was all opened up I went through about then and then they put, they put some new boardings on whoever's done that well, that there, I guess that's where the electrics are. That you could see right inside here, practically where the door is. Not that door, this door. But I'm glad it's been boarded up is the best thing. And there is the uh, former people that used to run it. Security, active security solutions. That's who used to be on here. But like I said, it's all now derelict. <laughs> Windows put through. Boards, even the boarding part's been put through, look of. Yeah. Main entrance. All that boarded. Yorkshire Coast Business Solutions. Well, the solution is at the moment is that it's been practically smashed in. This place, there's your solution. The solution is. Maybe used to turn it into houses, I don't know. I mean, that might have been years ago, I just quickly read on it. I don't know what they're going to do with it, properly. I'll have to have a look again in the, uh, on Google. <clears throat> I had a quick peek. Uh, it's all completely smashed in. Uh, there's your main entrance. Nice to go here. Not for a course, but when I was at school, I used to go to the gym, a gym pass type of thing. Hmm. See how bad it is. Wow. That like stop there. What? Oh, and then what is it? Things. 
to stick things up with. Jesus. And there's a car park down there. That car park now would have been for people coming to this college, but not anymore. So that car park there is officially for people working at the hospital. Isn't it ever? Yeah? People working at the hospital, yeah? That's where they're parked up there. Yeah. Right then, let's pause for now. Back on the thing, and behind that hedge thing there, just down there, is where the smoking area was. Yeah. The smoking area was down there. Look, no barrier up. So, obviously it's accessible. Obviously it needs to be accessible, so it's derelict, so it's accessible. And, that's accessible for all the, the workers to park the cars on here. You imagine what the car park charges are now, because of the cost of living and, and of everything that's gone up. It must be, it must be really bad in London. It must be, I mean, it's bad here. I think it's about <laughs> No wonder the one to park on here, it's free I guess. That bin was like that back in the summer, wasn't it? <laughs> that's what that's what that bin was like. Not even the doors done done up, you know, smashed in. You know, door there, one at fire exits. Mm -hmm. That's been done up. They left they left something that they haven't broken. Then a wardrobe <laughs> type thing, a uh, cabinet wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Well, not a wardrobe, a cabinet. Put that down. People's cars. <laughs> Oh yeah, a lot of cones there, look. So that must be to stop the cars going down there. Not that it could really that, that could really stop cars, but there you go. It's another part of the park car park up there, which will be for uh, for them and whatnot. Oh yes, it's public accessible, as you can see. And then again, like I said, it is derelict, so we shall name all these cones. Kazzy's Cones. Kaz the barber, Kazzy's Cones. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cones for Kaz. Huh. Madness. Wow. Look at this. There's another cone there, another Kazzy's Cone. Huh. That had been smashed in. Well, the rest of it has, to that. I mean, it was it was worse back in summer because there was a few of these bars that where you could, you could like, see the glass and go, well, you couldn't go in, but you'd got, get cut, but you know what I mean? It was smashed in, wasn't it? Back in summer. Yeah. Yeah. This site is on the 24 hour surveillance. Alright. I said that back in the summer. I was part of the tech partnership group. Alright. Hmm. Well, come if it's under that surveillance, where are they all then? And you see loads of people down here. We've just seen some young ones on bikes. Look at all that. Is that a toilet down there? Is that Tyson Fury, the toilet? Yeah. Huh. Looks like it, doesn't it? Uh, is it? Looks like it. How's it just sink? There's something down there. It might just be a... Might just be a sink, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. All smashed in. Smashed in, Jesus. <laughs> it looks like a... A cock. What them cock... Cock a, cock a two... Cockatiel, what they're called? Cockadoodle do things. Isn't it? Rooster. Ro that's it, rooster. Cock sure a cock. <laughs> yeah, it's like a rooster. Not bad that. And over there as well. It's all smashed in. Oh. 
completely wow that's been a big massive smash there look at that as well it's, it looks like a bullet hole that doesn't it look at that a punk thing like someone's like used a pellet or something there and there at top that's the gentleman I was talking to he must be leaving work at Scarborough Hospital What's part of what's the part of that building then for Yorkshire Coast? What part is that? Sports That's the sports hall. No, because the sports hall was in. Well, well then again, it's deep. No, I was there when I was when I was at Raincliffe. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go then. Wow, that all smashed in. There's that big chimney thing I said where you could put Jimmy Savile in. <clears throat> that is a furnace, that, isn't it, up there? Yeah, so technically we could go, well, not we, not me, but whoever could go and dig him up, furnace the git, and flush him. Yeah, down the Tyson Fury, the bog. At the moment he's the biggest shit house on the on the circuit as far as I'm concerned. It's just my personal opinion, but that's life. It's only personal it's my personal opinion. That's it. Because at the moment he's showing himself to be a disgraceful human being. In the world of boxing, as far as I'm concerned. Move on. He must have been cut off that way, but look, there's electrical wire in there. I mean it must have had the circuits cut off, that's why that was bothered up the door back over there. So that'll be turning it all back on, but look, people have dropped cans in there. And they've been sat in there having a drink. <laughs> that was like bullet holes as well, it obviously was a sign. It was like some like Tackleberry would fire at. <laughs> Tackleberry from Police Academy. I do all like it, look. <laughs> My mum's friend used to come to this part here and clean. And all, all the poo bags. Just that is disgusting. Look at all that. All them shit bags. Good God. See it all? Mm. Jesus Christ. You know, you wonder why you get rats and stuff. You know, stuff stuff like that. Look at that. Madness, isn't it? Yeah? Huh? Smoking area as well. What, over there? Yep. Alright. Well, there's the pathway to it over there, look. And down there. Straight to it, just put them on pause. Look, part of a U bend, pipes, plumbing, electric, I don't know, all that stuff. That wasn't my fault here. Mine was more roofing. It's just gas stuff, isn't it? Gas pipes and shit. Well, oh, look, it's one of them things. <laughs> hmm. It's been left there. That was there back in summer. Oh. You think the builder would take it with him, or wherever it belongs to? <laughs> and there's the uh, fencing area. That's what goes on down here. So, it's like a little, like a little swamp. Isn't it? There's all the fence. Was that, did you say it was a smoking area? No. Yeah. Over here. It's like a little swamp. It's like a little swamp here. Probably stand on there or go down like Darn French. <laughs> From, never Vicar of Dibley. There's like an oil area there. It's like a massive oil that goes in. <laughs> yeah, we. That's what's inside there. There you go. And there we go. Know what's inside and there's a few breeze blocks and bricks. Uh, oh look, there's another type of corn, a yellow corn. We'll call that Lee's corn. And he can be a wet floor. Only if customers can call him a wet drip.
There we go. <laughs> oh, the glass down there. Look, anyone could have an accident here. You know, driving a bike quickly, not on a bike. <laughs> Young people that don't like to put the brakes on, let's put it that way. Not sensible, if that makes sense with the brakes. <laughs> you mean Mr. Impossible? <laughs> Staying down there. Right there. Someone listening to some music down here. Imagine some, some young youths. Some young youths listen to some music. Like that. It's all smashed in over there. You alright? All smashed in. Looks like a bullet hole up there, Hev. Yeah. There, look, and there. There, and there. There. It's all the way around. Oh, look. There must be a way in at use. Because they've left the windows open. Hey, look. <laughs> it's all smashed in over there. Smashed in over there. The brickwork. <laughs> look at this big smash up there as well. Yeah. So. That's that done. Right, we'll go over that way. Right, lads. Huh? Them. Excuse me, lads. How much will them cost online? Keep out, right. Well, my mate wants one when he's at work. Pause. <laughs> The car going. Down there, just pulled off his little car. Obviously, he must be filming. Us. Oh, so he wouldn't just pull off, would he? Huh? He'll pop up in a minute in blue. There he goes. There he goes. <clears throat> anyway, for sale. <clears throat> we'll go back out that way ever, because you might slip or jump and go down that way still. Well, yeah, I know. So that was the vlog of the former Yorks Coast College. There's all accessible areas, the accessible area over there where the fence is. As you can see you can get straight through. There's accessible areas actually believe it or not from the main entrance. There's the man walking his dog. And that's an accessible area near the actual hedge. So there's a there's a geezer walking his dog. <coughs> and over there of course is a Quaker that Methodist church and uh, Watch out, Heather! No! <laughs> there is Scarborough Hospital, that's the north entrance. But we're on the other side of the road, we're making our way back to what we've just done. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a Scorby Road. Uh, it's Scorby Road, isn't it? Yeah. That lay is also part of Scorby Road. And so is this back here. Some of them over there. Over there, yeah. And over there is St. Luke's Church. So that's what it's called. And it knew it earlier on. And there's the church. 
There you go, and up there leads towards Stepney. So next time I'll maybe do a vlog, I might go up somewhere called Stepney. I'm going to do a good area of that, I haven't done that yet. So I'm thinking about doing it. Sound like a plan. It's been ready to take off and we've been All Scarborough Hospital. All Scarborough Hospital. See it there? Look for that. Yep. Yep. See it? Yeah. Yay. There's Raincliffe School in the back. It's what's it called now, Heather? Sixth form. Spring Edge Sixth Form College. Ah, okay. Right. Right at the very, very back there, it looks like there's some sort of a caravan site. Go back there. Oh yeah. So there is the former Raincliffe School, Scarborough Spring Edge Sixth Form College. Now, that's where I used to go when I was a teenager. Right there, former Raincliffe School. Turn. Oh, they've got some uh, football things on there. Nets. I imagine that the back there it looks like a caravan site. There's one up there. Yeah. Right back over there is Graham School. Straight ahead of us there is uh, Scarborough Hospital. And over there, that way, is the crematorium. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. They should dig up that absolute horrendous, horrid man that was actually born on Halloween night, 1926, you know, 31st of October. He was born then. And they should dig him back up. They should furnish him in that furnace near the hospital that big chimney thing, which is round about there, that big chimney thing right there, they should furnish him in that, and then they should flush his ashes down the uh, sewerage. Problem solved, and a dark cloud will be lifted inside our hometown. Yes? That's what I think, anyway. And over there is like, uh, there's our mate's got that baguette shop over there. Yeah. And, uh, there's, yeah, got that baguette shop. So that's the uh, really nice baguette. Stuff. Yeah, and behind the hospital there is, is that Woodland School. Yeah. Special needs. Woodland. Special well, special needs. Yeah, and there is the uh, down there, right in that part. Oops, a daisy. Just there will be Quaker's House, sort of it's called. Quaker House. Quaker House, and then there's that church there. What it's church? A a Methodist church. And the Quaker House is Methodist as well. And the Quaker House is Methodist as well. Well, there you go. I'm learning something new today. I knew about the Quaker House, but I didn't know what it actually stood for. Yeah. Methodist church. There's, 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 there's the hospital. That's the north part. That's the north part of the hospital. I used to go there years ago. And there's a... Uh, Woodland School for special needs people. And there's Graham. There's the hospital. And they're also building a new part. So you're gonna, you know, right the very, very background there is you can see the uh, the hospital helipad. But we're staying out of that area, so we're staying in a very, very good area where we can take our flight from. That new bit of the hospital. Yeah. Has got windows and everything in it now. Yeah. I don't think I think it's been finished built. I think. Yeah. So I'm going to stay away from that area. Obviously. I mean, there's actually no actual flight restrictions around that, which is really mad because it, it doesn't show anything on the actual drones. It doesn't even show anything on the actual official map of anything. But it does on other hospitals in other cities. So I can't understand it why it's different here and different again in cities because it's still a hospital. It doesn't make any sense. But there you go. That's life, isn't it? Right, now, let's take a little flight over. I 
Do, 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 do. Practically in the middle. Right there in the middle. There we are. Keep my uh, my eyes on uh, Bruce the drone at all times, as you must do. Oh, what a lovely little shot that is from there. I'll take a uh, take a, a picky soon. Right now, flight. Just over Rene Raincliff uh, School there. Well, I keep calling it Raincliff because that's how I remember it. I remember it as Raincliff School. So I remember it. Maybe the people don't, but I do. Let's just go back a little bit. Do 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 There is Raincliff. There. There's Raincliff. You alright? There is Raincliff there. Just saying hello to a person who's walking his dog on the field. So yeah, former Raincliff School. Now called somewhere else. Don't know why they changed the name, so what's the bloody point? But there you go. That's that's life, I guess. Let's go back. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. Dum dee dum dee dum dee dum. And there is Raincliffe itself. There you go. Look at that. What a beautiful looking uh, place it is still. Well, I like it. And we shall go back over. Make our way that way. <laughs> Whoa. And we're practically a bit there, that little bit there. There we go. And we're practically in the middle again. And looking down like that. And we go back over. And go back up. And look at that, towards over that way is Scarborough Castle. Zoom in. Scarborough Castle. Turn that way a little bit. And there's the uh, the hotel. Apartments. And it's a uh, for Mr. Marvels at the moment, it's the, uh, it's literally the close at the moment, it's the, the uh, open air theatre, I nearly forgot the name of it then, for some reason, wow well, that's mad, there's the uh, Alpamar that is completely shut down, and I think there'll be an investigation there, because uh, people want to know why 9.4 million of public money has been given to them, they don't have the legal right. It's our money, not theirs. And yet, it hadn't even been opened 10 years and they shut it down already. It'll fly it over. Of course, I'm zoomed in at the moment. But yeah, the Alpamart's completely shut down and it should be investigated. They definitely called for an investigation. There is John O's. 
uh, slightly more to the foreground and then again into the and then again to the foreground as well there is a park on the uh, Briarcliff uh, there is Barrowcliff School I used to go there as well when I was younger Barrowcliff School and whatnot keep your eye on him I used to go to Barrowcliff School and um, there's over there behind that tree is where I used to live on Hatterboard Drive mm. yeah there's Barrowcliff anyway Right then, quick fly out. Quick fly out. Poor Barrel Cliff. Back to spray. Stop. Back on. Up there. Barrow Cliff. Barrow Cliff School. There's Barrow Cliff. As you can all see. Back. all the way back to me there's a nice little uh, cart there from Barrowcliff here he comes here he comes here he, here he, here he comes and he's just above me now he's little Brucey and then we'll take it that way wow part of that is um Scorby Village in the foreground and part of that is so it is of course on this area it's Lady Edith's Lady Edith's Drive this road isn't it? Yeah. Lady Edith's Drive yeah. what's is that newbie part of that over there as well as Scorby? Yeah. yeah I thought so part of that is also newbie we shall take a little flighty over there I'd stop it a minute ago because uh, he was doing that overexposure. I always seem to do that after about nine or ten minutes in. Which is a bit stupid because I've got these lenses and everything. But there you go. Such as life. <laughs> Whoa. So, yeah. That's all the part of Lady Edith's, part of the rest of it, newbie, right in the foreground, Scorby Village, as you do, and round, and round, there's Raincliffe School again, and round, back towards us, oh look, there's the hospital, and former Yorkshire Coast College. What a lovely shot from that area. This Yorkshire Coast College has been shut, of course, since uh, 2017. Never been opened. I think there was calls to maybe turn to some homes. Is it 128 homes? 139 homes. I got that wrong, but 139 homes. But yeah, it's been shut since 2017. Yeah. Right then. It's been in Brucey back. Here comes Bruce. There he is, right ahead of me. Just going over there. And what we shall do is we shall turn him. There we go. And we shall bring him back up like that. What we shall do is just oh, oops, it's easy. Now, way. It might not look as like he's actually away from the uh, hospital. He's actually quite far away. It's because I've put the lens in the software at the back, I've opened up the lens bigger. So it looks like he's even closer, but actually he's not. 
Anyways, looking towards Scarborough Castle. And down that way, of course, is Scorby Road. If you go all the way to the bottom down there, down that road down there, you'll get onto Falls Grave. Follow the road. And all the way up there, look. Oh, look, Oliver's Mount. Okay? Oliver's Mount. Right. Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, there's the for sale sign, but it takes it's been derelict all these years. No one seems to want to uh, own it. Mind you, if it costs a lot of money, cost of inflation, all the rest of it, you're not going to want to know it, are you? Let's be honest, you're just not going to want to know. Unless you've got big plans. Like I say, it has been called to maybe turn it into houses. Check down there, look, see. There. There we go. Right then. That a little bit too fast there, but never mind. These things happen. The world is here to test us. Next thing is my little vlog's gonna come up. So I like to do the flight first, just in case it did start to rain. You know, it's getting to that time of year again where. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, it's winter time practically. We're in November. It's bringing down. Come on, Bruce Sibonis. Bruce the drone. <laughs> 